Quick yes. Trainer. Uh, that Loving character, uh, I, I feared that character a bit before the patch because, yeah. uh, you know, deep breathing and all, all of the potential kill moves that character had. Now they made it better. And Wadi has decided, you know what, this is nice. Uh, we've already seen him put in a lot of work over this round robin. Salem was the one who won the qualifier to get that last spot. So Salem trying to come up from the bottom end of the bracket. And he was the one who beat Esam to put himself on this position in Winterside, while Wadi was the one who went down to Void, putting him against Salem. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Of course, we know Snake um, never has a, a real need to commit, and Salem being known as a player who will not commit if he doesn't yeah. need to. He plays optimal. And on that same token, as a Wii Fit trainer, exactly. you get sun salutations, yep. you get deep breathing. You're getting health back from that. Exactly. So even though Snake loves to trade, Wadi's perfectly content with staying back when he needs to as well. And he gets the stall around the Nikita's like so. That was such a good route that he took yeah. to not, avoid that. Not only is it a stall, but it's like you said, he gets to regain health with the deep breathing off stage. So where Snake gets away with uh, playing more passive in a lot of matchups, mm -hmm. We Fit actually has a bit more of an advantage because yeah. he can prepare some setups. Yeah, frame three there, catching him sleeping right next to him, but that's such a fast move. Um, another thing too that it, it may seem like, okay, it's just a little bit of percent, right? But Snake has a kill confirm at 160. If you could continue to just bring that down to keep you that much longer away from that down throw to up tilt, that's a huge advantage coming in from Wadi there. Okay, salute the sun right there. I, but I'm not even going to lie. I think this is the first time I heard the male voice actor from <laughs> Wii Fit Trainer yeah, in this yeah, game. Yeah, Wadi being one of the few male Wii Fits out there. The only other one I know of is uh, Wii Fit uh, Wii Twerk, Wii Twerk, Twerk Trainer, trainer yeah. here in SoCal. Yeah. Oh, DBZ moment. No one's going to lose their stock, though. And there's that deep breathing, regaining some health. Every bit is crucial, especially in a matchup with mm. such a heavy hitter like Snake. Exactly. And that, that dare, yet again, backing him off, opting to go for that dash attack. And also, the utilizing the volleyball to stop Nikita. That is such a huge advantage, but that F tilt still not going to kill. Yeah, jumping in the blast throw, maintaining his life, but Nikita snatching it right back away. Yeah, you can only navigate around the same route so many times, and uh, Salem finally catching him on the first point. 165%. Snake very heavy. Oh, yeah, with that extended, grounded now out of that jab, that leads to a kill now with that F tilt. And we're down to two stocks apiece, really even in percents as well. Both players evenly matched so far. Mm -hmm. Beautiful down air out of shield coming up from Salem, and he's got him. Wadi at the ledge. I like the attention to detail on uh, Salem as well. He <gasps> oh, he was trying to spike him early. And this is something that he has to worry about with that Cypher too, because he can potentially go out there, smack it, break it, and send the snake straight to the blast zone. And you can see how much safe pressure uh, Salem was able to apply when Wadi was at the ledge and off stage. He jumped, uh, placed the grenade at the ledge, jumped back mm -hmm. up onto the platform, and used the Nikita. The beauty of the Nikita is that he's able to go for these edge guards from really far exactly. center stage position. Exactly. Never having to commit yeah. and give up stage positioning is such a huge bonus to playing a character. And you look at the movement that Wadi has with this Weep Feet Trainer, deep breathing. Oh, and of course, when you use deep breathing uh, multiple times over mm -hmm. the course of time, it takes longer to charge. Oh, oh, and that's actually going to kill there. That was such a good option for uh, Salem. Not only going for it once, but going for it twice, deciding to commit, throwing off Wadi. That oh, was that good. Was that was a great trap. frame yeah. trap. Yeah, throwing out that C4, knowing the air dodge come in, just keep him buried in the corner. And he's 38% unanswered so far. All right, really big uh, deficit here for Wadi with his Wii Fit. 63% on his last life, and you know, Snake at 136%. He's still kind of chilling. He's a really big know. boy. Uh, Sa Salem going for the, the the hard reads as well. Throwing out the F smash to center oh. stage, but finally catching him with an up tilt. And Salem kind of cruising with the second stock here. Wadi has not been able to close it out so far. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about how Snake can play passive and Wii Fit would be able to regain health, mm -hmm. but I mean, not much percent can you regain that'll help you when you're an entire stock yeah. down. That's the intelligence of Salem, knowing when it's okay to zone break, but he's going to get called out on his landing there. Up air finally going to put that him on the last stock. All right, beautiful back air here from Salem. Nikita coming out again. Wadi barely avoiding him. Oh, this, oh, is, this big. is big damage. Oh, he actually read the air dodge too, but he couldn't get the follow up. Got the grounded, did not get the uh, air dodge with the up air though, but he's still, I mean, halfway there in terms of percentages right now. Another up air. Good landing with that. Uh, that nair leads to such yeah. good strings, especially at low percent, but you see he's just using it as an option coverage, especially when he goes for those spot dodges. It lingers for so long. All right, what's the route he takes? All right, opting the air dodge high, I like it. Just going straight to that corner as soon as Nikita was coasted clear. It's like, I don't want to take this anymore. Yeah, and you can see the last couple of seconds too. I mean, the, the level of frame trapping. Oh, 
Wadi with the wow. comeback. That was an that was an immaculate comeback from there. We saw a little bit of popping off in the background, not only from Luka, but from Simpai seeing how well he was playing and running that back. That was um, that, that's, that's a something a lot deficit. of people yeah, can't that do. That was a huge deficit coming uh, that Wadi was able to overcome in that very mm -hmm. first game, and that's definitely going to be like a huge mental hurdle for Salem to move yeah. forward going on. I mean, seeing that you know I was doing everything I had to, I had the lead, and yet. You know, I, 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 there's something, I got to do more mix-ups. I will you know? say something, though, that Salem is definitely the slow killer when it comes yeah. to the longevity of a set. We saw at Pound recently that we saw Miss Gina Darling donating $2 to the, the OC Charity Foundation. Thank you so much for continuing to donate. Absolutely. And every single one of you is in, the, in here. We know that we can reach these donation goals before we get to the end of this main bracket here. Well, uh, go ahead and keep helping out yeah, absolutely. all these foundations. And I mean, check out the shop. It's on Smash GG. There's lots of cool stuff uh, that you can go get on there. I myself got myself a, uh, a Vaporwave Wolf shirt. As Unless soon as I heard that there was uh, a relief going on for the veterans and such, as well as assisting uh, those with uh, disabilities, you want to give back to the community. And absolutely. we are getting to do that while we're playing games and watching Squatty get absolutely chopped on the neck with that axe kick. But again, we saw even with the deficits Wadi ever takes, even though he's got the lead right now, doesn't matter when he gets caught. He's perfectly content with playing just the same pace he was before. Okay, Wadi going for a bit of a read here at the ledge. That down smash not going to quite connect. Oh, oh, that was a good idea. Yeah. Just like jumping out there just to not necessarily get the call, but see how Wadi would react after that. Now yeah, Wadi uh, just drifting back as he should, and he catches the forward tilt by the ledge, able to secure that first stock. I'm really liking the way Wadi's been playing this week for Trainer, just being able to box in and out and establish the long range game, preventing Salem from really setting up shop nearly as much as Salem wants to. You don't see nearly as many C4s being placed out because he's being conservative about it. Okay, and Wadi's starting to uh, display some really tricky movement using the, uh, actually the soccer ball header to stall his movement and then land on Salem with a back air in a couple of instances. Eddie, once again, threw out that volleyball to try and bait him. Oh, but that air dodge is not going to make oh, it. Oh, yeah. Directional air dodge going a little bit way too low. Not enough vertical distance on Wii Fit's up special. You can mash to get a little bit extra mm -hmm. distance, but he was already way too far down. Yeah, no, well, something Wadi has to be careful of is that every time he's recovered high, Salem's just kind of been staring at him. At some point, and with these low percents, Salem's going to go out there and rip a fair. He's going to try and spike him really early because it has so much kill power. Dash tech getting Wadi back off stage. Here's that. Uh, plat left platform edge guard with the Nikita as well. Mm. Again, that commitment we were talking about before. Stay back. I don't have to do anything. I put a grenade at ledge. I got Nikita coming at you and landed directly in front of him. And he's mean, slowly bringing this percent back too. I mean, just like look at that um, minefield that Salem placed in front of Wadi while he was at the ledge, mm -hmm. throwing grenades from the center and had the C4 ready at that platform so that Wadi cannot use that route mm -hmm. to get over. Yeah, that was an excellent route from Salem, getting himself back down to the ground to almost catching the up tilt. Wouldn't have killed, but it would have gave him great positioning. Salem opting to consistently recover high now, but these B reverses, they are going to get called out because he did it just before, Wadi recognizing it and finally getting him with the dash attack. All right, here comes the Jazz, but not enough percent to keep Salem in the ground. Yeah, wanting to be able to convert off of that, but that's okay. That up till almost looked like some bad DI, but luckily for Wadi, he did not die to that. Salem oh, just pa remaining patience. super patient, waiting for a reaction. All right, Wadi still a uh, really solid advantage right here, 111 percent. We Fit is a very light character, but he has the tools. He has lots of projectiles mm -hmm. to really keep Salem at bay. Down throw, not a throw you really see yeah, from that's a, uh, we fit. a high percent as well. Oh, but with Wadi up the stock here, this is something Salem has to be very careful of. Say, uh, Wadi can commit to just giving Ooh. it up, but he's going to throw the Sun Salutation. Not going to kill just yet, though. Snake being so heavy. All right, opt in the fade back yet again, looking for the up tilt on a potential jump in, but get to call him out with that dash attack, force him back away yet again. There's that stall wow. that we were talking about before. What an expert avoidance there by the ledge, but he can't avoid that forward throw at a high enough percent that it will be the KO. Salem at 142. Uh, he's definitely not out of it. Oh, that j just a single, uh, like single hits on the pressure there on that shield, just trying to get a reaction out of Salem to move. 
The ledge trap being so strong coming out from Salem right here. Wow, beating out the up smash hitbox. Uh, Wadi landing with a hitbox of his own. And Wadi finally able to get himself back into center stage. He took so much pressure, only walked away at 42%. Now at 41 after that deep breathing, but still, it was su it's such a scary spot being right. in the corner against Sna uh, Snake in general. Oh my god, he, he rolled just, through I don't such think a, No, I don't got, think that was a roll. It what? looked like it was a directional air dodge oh directly in front god. of him. <laughs> well, either way, man. Yeah. Palsy play. And he's gonna get caught by that back air and Wadi taking the 2-0 advantage here. I like how, really nice with the Wii Fit. I like how Larry and Louie Money, they were both looking up and right before the camera like turned over <laughs> them, they immediately turned their heads back. Like, no mom, I wasn't watching TV still. I swear I'm in bed. <laughs> Salem trying to figure this out. Well, again, we talked about before the runbacks that we've seen out of Salem, but a lot of those runbacks have been with much more familiar matchups. Wadi is pretty much the, uh, the the torchbearer of Wii Fit Trainer right yeah, now, since absolutely. switching over. And it's a kind of look like the way Wadi is playing, he's making it look, making it me believe that this may be a potential counter for, for Snake players. Here. The way that he's been playing it, it's been working really yeah. well. I don't know how the matchup is overall, right. but I'm really liking the way he's doing it. Okay, not gonna SD. You never want to see that happen that early. Well, Taking a little bit of early percent here, and Salem uh, doing what works and putting him at the ledge, setting up the uh, the ledge traps with the up smashes and the grenades by the uh, ledge. Up smash is a really great tool because you can uh, throw out multiples of them with delayed timing so yep. that the mortars land uh, subsequently, and then it makes it's it really a stress hard. stress-inducing yeah. thing to deal with. But you know what's not stress-inducing? Fierce Alchemist coming in with that $10 donation to help continue to grow not only the donations we have for yeah. this event, but unlock some potential future events as we still have way more time left in this day. You're helping us create goodwill, and you too can get goodwill if you can continue to donate at the shop. Get yourself some cool stuff. All the proceeds going through the programs that help us support. Yeah. Hashtag goodwill get good, though, because that Nikita is going to stop that route that Wadi decided to take there, and he's going to finally get to put himself in. I think this is the first lead that he's had for the most part throughout this set. Only at one, but at 152, it's not really that much of a lead because there goes the stock. Yeah, with the up air and Wadi not taking too much percent of his own. He's stuck in shield. Mm -hmm. I like it though yeah. because this is something Salem's been consistently doing. Throwing out these dash attacks to try and catch Wadi running away. He knows Wadi wants to set up deep breathing. Well, Wadi's content with that. It's like, all right, I don't need deep breathing to succeed against you. I've been doing just fine, except for when I knock you away, then I'll commit to it. I, I really got to appreciate the spacing from Wadi's backers, especially landing. Mm -hmm. um, he can uh, space himself out to where it's pretty safe on shield. I do like the adjustments from Salem as well. Like, you see that Salem hasn't really been, like, too committed to playing a super patient yeah. other than a couple of moments, but now he's really committed to it. It's like, all right, I'm just going to continue to throw grenades at you until you decide to come at me. Then I will box you away with the dare and continue to rinse repeat. I have eight minutes to play with. I am perfectly content with playing the clock right now. Absolutely, but we're at two stocks apiece, relatively even. Percent's actually dead even after Wadi mm -hmm. got that deep breathing in. 66.4 to 66.3, both of them I'm currently. Sorry. I'm sorry, 0.1% <laughs> <Yeah>. different. <laughs> they, get, they gave us that little bit of extra. It's as close, it was as close as you could possibly get. There's that down throw at the mid percents coming out from, uh, mid to high percents coming out from Wadi. It's more of a mix up. Seems like he's really just putting him, up, uh, Salem in a position directly above him so they continue to juggle. Exactly. Being able to just kind of catch the landing because Snake has a couple routes he wants to take, usually with the B reverse involved. So Wadi just waiting to react and catch him on his way down. That time taking the correct route. What's the option from Salem? Looking for a jump early, but Wadi didn't give it to him. Not going to die though. Deep breathing, regaining just enough health to put him sub 100 here. Now he's got the stat buff as well. How's he gonna trap Salem's landing? He's definitely going for that um, same strategy that we've talked about. Just put him up in the sky. You saw it a second ago as well. He air dodged through him on the other side just to get himself oh back in. God. But using the angel platform invincibility, just running in head first and smacking him out of here. This is it, one more stock. Salem just needs one to put himself on the board. Wadi one stock and he makes it into the next portion of this bracket. Yeah, putting himself in top uh, eight portion yeah. on the winner's side of this invitational, very stacked event with $10,000 on the line. We're seeing this work he's been putting with this. We fit, look at that big damage off of one Nair into the header, looking for yet another follow-up. Salem cannot find his way back on the ground. Oh, there it is! Oh There's that God. feel we were talking about before the moment he committed off the side of the stage to one of those. Salem was gonna let it rip eventually, finally pulling the trump card out and gonna put himself on oh, the board. And he caught me sleeping, he caught Wadi sleeping. It was so close to the legend. I mean, that board air, it is not the fastest mm -hmm. move, so it has quite a bit of startup. And, and when Salem grasped the opportunity, 
when he needed it the most. That move is the cruise control killer. <laughs> when you are in a position where you're just kind of bodying the snake at the moment, snakes love to let that rip when yeah. you think that you're comfortable. That time, Wadi ended up giving up stage positioning, but he felt confident. Like, you know what, it's fine. I was just beating him. He's going to run away, right? Nope. Salem saw this moment and just absolutely called him out, keeping himself alive. Yeah, all right, well, Salem keeping himself alive in this set. See if we can get a game five at least. Yeah, the way he's going, but granted, the way that he finished it out before Wadi doesn't look too phased by that. I get yeah, the good thing that Wadi has a lot of credit for is whenever he takes off, like a hard loss like that, doesn't normally get too phased by it. All right, dead even percents right here. About just twenty percent between them, really. Mm -hmm. um, both players playing really patient so far. After how that last game went, I'm not surprised. Definitely showing a lot of respect for each other. A theme of this game is if you're a good character, you have a good nair. Yeah. And uh, the way that Wadi's been using this nair from Wii Fit, definitely believing in it now because he has been getting so much yeah. damage and strings off of it throughout yeah. this match. And not only like does the nair just combo into itself a lot of the times, especially at the low mid percents, but when he has deep breathing active, it just hits that much harder and this co same combos connect for more damage. Yeah, you've seen he's gone for these nares, the back airs, but Salem keeping it controlled. He's opting to go for these landing catches now. The air dodge having a little bit too much end lag, now forced out the late yet again. Opting to just take the grenade though. Yeah, look at those up smashes coming out. We I, shot one too many I, and Wadi made it pay for I think Wadi intentionally took that grenade to let him get comfortable with those up smashes, but not going to stay comfortable for too much longer. Salem's going to get that up tilt, put yeah. himself on the board. Salem already setting up that C4 on the uh, right-hand plat uh, platform, so something to watch out for. Yeah, so just that swift, that uh, nair to F tilt as well. Trying to call out Salem. But Salem actually going to swing the wrong way. However, not going to take too much for it. Going to put himself back in center stage. However, that header going to find him. That was the option here. Uh, you know, uh, you know, in the back of what he said, he always he has to be thinking whenever he goes for that deep breathing now. He's like, is he coming? Is he coming? I'm, I'm not getting hit by that again. Oh, no. All right. The C4 is gone. Uh, I'm not sure if it exploded or he detonated. It does uh, detonate itself after a certain amount of time. Yeah, Salem's not one to, like, use Salem... Um, excuse me, C4 a lot. Yeah. Like, he keeps it rather conserved. And uh, other than repositioning, like he did so just now, usually you'll see a lot of other snakes proactively used it, trying calling you out on approach. Right. He does, he will detonate it in the clutchest moments, yeah. though. So it, it definitely really expert usage of the C4. And that's the more, that's the, the more stress-inducing part about playing against Snake. It's like, I am potentially losing stage control on one-third of this stage because there's a C4 sitting over there. Yeah, and not... Only like that, but when he puts it on the platform, he can actually uh, detonate it, and the area of effect is very exactly. large. It hits on the platform as well as below, so it really covers a lot of area. Two stocks of beast still here. Advantage going towards... And both of them, it's like, it's relatively neutral advantage here. But one of the big things for Wadi is that after that last match, if you go into game five with Salem running this back, you gotta keep it in the back of your head. Like Salem has run these trios back multiple times. Like I gotta stop this yeah. now. Yeah, both players really fighting to the grit of their teeth right here. Salem at dangerously high percent. And this is about as much percentage Snake can take before losing a life. Mm -hmm. That sun salutation not gonna kill just yet either. Wow. Deep breathing not online to be able to potentially get a little bit more knockback. He was looking for good movement, just kind of running back and forth. But the back door won't do much. Just gonna force him at ledge. I don't think he's get, yeah, you already saw he was moving, not trying to get called up by that roll F tilt yet again. Wow, great dash attack approach coming out from Wadi too, regaining a little bit of health. Every bit counts right here. And we're, we are just shoulder tackle the game right now. We are in the football drafts, not the smash drafts. That <laughs> shoulder tackle yet again, gonna force Wadi back off stage. Such, option here. Such crazy patience and this beautifully spaced down tilts from Salem at high enough percent, I guess it kills. Uh, that's the first time I've seen, <laughs> definitely the first time I've seen Snake kill with that. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. He was <laughs> trying to go for that low percent there. He had to stock up. It's perfectly fine to try and go for that. Great frame trap coverage coming in from Salem yet again. And that's his jump. He's forced to have to, no, oh, he has the stall. He still had his jump. Excuse me, my apologies. Salem well, look at this damage that Wadi's on. Oh my God. Beautiful catch on the landing there, the up tilt coming out, and Salem putting himself on the board. Wadi still leading the set two to one right now, but uh, Salem looking much more alive. But what I'm seeing is that he's playing way, way more patient. Yes. Definitely using his grenades and his other projectiles yep. a lot more 
forcing these way more difficult approaches yep. from Wadi, and Wadi taking da a lot more damage for it. Yep. Salem's such a, a strong player at playing the stamina battle. Like, if we're going to go the long game, I'm going to come out on top. Yeah. That's why you saw after that cruise control killer we talked about before, that axe kick coming in from that fair, taking away what was such a huge lead from Wadi. And now, oh, this he's is game got five. game five. Yeah. He's run it all the way back. Well, I definitely do not anticipate whatsoever a switch to Rob. This Wa this Wii Fit has been looking absolutely amazing. And we're going to go to Smashville as well, try and close the gap. I am, like, there's mixed opinions yeah. on uh, Smashville. I personally think Smashville is one of the better stages for Snake. I, I would have to agree. <laughs> you, you, you control two-thirds of the stage by putting C4 and grenades down. MVD, not the biggest fan of this stage for Snake, but that's a big thing about Snake. There's so many different play styles you can attribute to it. Yeah, and I, I definitely I would have to agree that this is a great snake play for the reason you just said. The uh, C4 covers so much. I talked about it on Pokemon Stadium. You put it on the platform, it hits above mm -hmm. and below. Yep. This is just one platform. If you put it on the center, that you can't even get like on the side of it. Mm -hmm. You're on top of it, you're getting hit. You're below it, you're getting hit. But something for Wadi as well is that big center platform there with a smaller gap. Once he gets those openings, he could get much bigger damage so much faster. But you see, it's because the C4 is in the way, it's going to prevent him from committing much harder on that. The air dodge going to get caught by the Nikita. This time, he still has his jump. Trying to fight his way back in. All right. Beautiful up tilt from uh, Salem. And here comes Nikita. But Wadi just so patient on his recovery, <laughs> consistently avoiding Nikita yeah, attempts we, from Salem. We fit uh, the master behind avoiding Nikita, apparently. Yeah, and, and as we just saw, it looks like uh, Wadi can also line himself up horizontally with Salem and use the soccer ball to hit Salem as he's in the uh, Nikita. I like that uh, idea animation. behind that F smash there, too, because Wadi's consistently gone for grabs, yeah. usually in those positions, just a forward throw to get a follow up after that grenade pull. Calling out the movement from Salem, they're getting the app smash. Oh my gosh, again avoiding Nikita. That one, gonna hit, but he's gonna survive a little bit longer. Yeah, too yeah. low. Didn't have to jump anymore. That is uh, something we saw before. That's gonna work out for Salem. He just stayed committed to the cause, only at 29% on this new stock. Here comes it down to, oh, deep breathing. And there's that platform extension we were talking about. Went for a bit of a mix up with the forward air. Danced around the, the option that Salem was trying to throw out with that F till got out of there. But that Nair also big damage into the dash attack. A beautiful cross up with the landing back air on Wadi's shield. He was able to get sneak in the F tilt as well to yeah, get that Salem damage. Salem hasn't really gone for that too yeah. much either. But because of this platform layout, he's able to commit to it and go to the corner. Yeah, really nice. Uh, he can just run off to either side, and it's a really, really easy like cross-up for him. Yeah, Salem kind of cooking a little bit now, too, with that cross-up that he did before to force Wadi back into a situation where it's relatively even. Thankfully for Wadi, the grenade didn't, uh, does not interrupt the deep breathing. All right, what's the option there? Actually just waiting for him to get down as soon as he did, covering it with that dash attack. And of course, that new jab into the F tilt because of the position. Like you saw, he was mashing hard, but didn't matter. The extended down, uh, grounded hitbox worked out for Wadi. Now Salem on his last stop. This is all or nothing for Salem right now. But I mean, he he's definitely uh, gonna if he's wanna gonna wanna commit to that very passive play style. Wadi's surely making it hard for him. He's definitely be, being a little bit more yeah. aggressive, despite the. Uh, the high percentage that he's at right now. I think we're gonna oh. see a change, calling out that roll with that up tilt, just backing off side to side, waiting to see how it went, and it worked out in his favor. And I agree, I think we're gonna see Salem going in a little bit more now. Like, he, regardless of even in a backup, he's gonna try and, like, remove the momentum that Wadi has been obtaining over this last game. Absolutely, and Wadi landing with the down air, catching, almost catching that forward smash, but uh, Salem using the invincibility frames on the roll. And Wadi catching, Salem swinging to the dash attack, finally gonna get himself a point. That Sun Salutation gonna back him off too. Wadi currently 21 to 99%. All right, double dash attack in either direction. It's gonna get both to connect. Oh, but that dare out of shield is gonna put him at 60%. This is something that Wadi needs to be very careful of. I actually like the idea of doing that and then air dodging right at the grenade. Salem was not probably expecting that. Like, why would you go to an active explosion? Oh, that down Ooh. smash a little bit of an extra call there. What's the option there? He's going to get hit oh, by the up smash. No. He's not going to die, though. 93% to 118. Just barely surviving. Parrying that, that fair. 
I wonder what kind of conversion he would have gone for there. He, it would have gotten a stage bike on the platform mm -hmm. at the very least, yeah. Yeah, we've seen high base knockback off of those stage bikes too. Going for that up tilt. Oh man, he's sharking below him. He's got to be careful. And now deep breathing active too. Salem has to be very careful because the sound salutation is going to hit him and that's going to be Wadi winning 3-2 over Salem. Praising the Lord of the Sun has definitely worked out for Wadi. We fit already looking so strong. I mean, this mm -hmm. this is a character that Wadi's been playing for maybe a couple of weeks now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and he's actually been able to successfully even win locals here in SoCal mm -hmm. over some of our best players with the character. Yeah, so. And having his number one support system right there, Senpai coming in to go congratulate after what was a very stressful set. Uh, that Ooh. was as well fought and well played as you could possibly get. You want to talk about meticulous war of attrition? That is pretty much how you go. Like, who, who for one, has good practice against Wii Fit Trainer? Not many people. Who is able to play the long stamina game that well? Salem. Wadi had to play around that. He did. But Salem almost ringing it back at the end there, too. That was a very...